Hi, Achim here from Innerspace Explorers. Today we will talk about unplanned decompression in recreational diving. But before I get into today's topic, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you like my content. <laughs> hit that little notification bell so you get um, an information when I upload new content, which normally is once a week. And if you want to discuss things in detail, please check out my Patreon site. Thank you. So I got a question and I'll just read that to you. Could you talk or make a video about a rec your recommendations about a classical recreational no decompression 30 meter dive planned for 20 minutes of bottom time? Problem on the bottom, extended time for five minutes and we have to deco. All right, let's talk about it. So the no decompression limit with air on 30 meters is 20 minutes. So if you have nitrox 32, it's extended to 30 minutes. So let's say this is an air dive, so our no decompression limit is 20 minutes. So by all instructions, no matter what agency or whatever, you would have to do a safety stop. So it's a no decompression dive, but you would add some extra safety doing a safety stop. However, that would be three minutes at five meters, five minutes at three meters, all the ISE minimum deco, one, two, three, so nine, one minute, six, two minutes, three, three minutes, whatever, it doesn't matter. It's not needed decompression, but you do it to get yourself a bit of a safety margin and uh, basically slow down your ascent. So our, and when I say our, I'm talking Inner Space Explorers. So our recommendation for unplanned recreational deco is that you decompress for the amount of time that you extend the no decompression limit. So if you extend your no decompression limit of 20 minutes on 30 meters for five minutes, you would do five minutes of decompression. So the interesting part is obviously, where do you do these decompression stops? So I just said there's various ideas. So what I see most of the time is three minutes at five meters or five minutes at three meters as a safety stop or um, yeah, safety stop. So what we do is we do a so-called minimum deco, which means we do one minute at nine meters, two minutes at six meters, three minutes at three meters, and we do this on every dive deeper than 18 meters. There's a logic behind that because we say you ascend to 50% of your maximum depth and there you slow down your ascent to three meters per minute and then you can do your minimum deco. So if you dive shallower than 18 meters, 50% is less than nine meters where you would normally start your safety stops. So that doesn't make any sense. So uh, in that case, it is a 30 meter dive. So you would do an ascent with 10 meters per minute up to 15 meters. And then you would slow down to three meters per minute. And then from, so basically that would give you like a minute on every stop. Um, and that minute would be stay 40 seconds and slowly using the remaining 20 seconds for a full minute to ascend three meters. So 15 to 12 to nine, and then you would do one, two, three up on the surface. So this already gives you six minutes of decompression. So if you now have an issue and you end up with 25 minutes of bottom time, that would most probably cover it. Nevertheless, we would recommend do an additional five minutes of decompression. So the interesting question here is, where do you do that? And do you have enough gas for that? So I talked about gas planning in previous videos. So I don't wanna really go into this gas planning, but if you do your gas planning, as I explained, you'll be safe and you have enough gas for this type of safety uh, stop or additional decompression or whatever. If you, of course, extend your bottom time a lot, uh, let's say you double it and you, if you have, let's say you have gas to double it, um, it might be very unlikely that you have enough gas to do that decompression. So, of course, you can simply put these five minutes into these um, three stops, nine, six, three. You can start a little bit deeper. The interesting thing is that you want to build a curve. And this is actually one of the reasons why we started with this one, two, three, this uh, ISE minimum deco, because we wanted to get people into that thinking that you start with 10 meters per minute, you slow down to three meters per minute, and then you actually make stops that become longer 
the shallower you, you you get so you actually get this this curve and obviously you want to put these five minutes into that curve so let's have a look at that so we said we have 30 meters for 20 minutes and that would be a no decompression dive so now we extend that to 25 minutes because we have a problem at the bottom you could have an entanglement or you get stuck somewhere or whatever doesn't matter you just oversee the time you so much into this fish this wreck whatever and you just miss it, it does, it's not the point so now we said we are at 30 meters hope you see what i'm doing here and we start our ascent and we said we go to 50 percent of the maximum depth which is 15 meters so here we do 10 meters per minute. So now at 15, we slow down our ascent to three meters per minute. So then the next steps is 12 and nine. So we do one minute to go up to 12. We do one minute to go up from 12 to nine. And then we do our minimum deco. So we have one minute at nine, two at six, and three at three. A lot of people ask like, ah, this is overdoing it. This is completely unnecessary. Yeah, most of the time it's unnecessary, but I like to be in the water. So unless it's a really cold and shitty dive, what's wrong in hanging out a couple of more meters, especially in shallow water? Normally there's sun, there's fish, there's marine life. So I never had an issue with that. And I teach it because it makes people aware of how to build an ascent curve. And that's the important part of it. So if you have to discuss six minute plus minus if staying in the water, then probably you shouldn't dive. Um, so and now the thing was that we have an additional five minutes that we want to put into that. So obviously you can start a little bit deeper. Um, the question is, is it really beneficial? Yes, no, hmm, whatsoever. Um, you could, and I'll just show you examples now. Um, I'll probably do this a little bit nicer here. So we have three, six, nine. I put the 12 in here as well. And originally we have one, two, and three minutes. So now we want to add five more. So obviously you could say, okay, I do one here, I do one here, I do three here, I do five here. So it's two more, two, three. So yeah, it's four minutes more. Um, let's say we do two here. So we have one, two, three, four, five. So that's five minutes more. Um, so we basically keep our ICE minimum deco, our safety stop, and we added another five minutes. And we still do kind of a nice curve. One, two, three, five. That's definitely nice. Of course, you can simplify these things. I mean, doing one, two, and eight for sure will not hurt you. So there's an old saying that, that, that says, it's important to decompress, not how you decompress. Of course, this is a very, very dangerous saying because, I mean, if we talk real decompression diving, it of course makes a huge difference how you decompress and where you put your stops. But in the end, the worst thing you can do is to not decompress, to just get out of the water. It's like, ah, oh, I messed it up. What to do now? So also, this might be a very simple solution and it might work. It most probably will work. I would still recommend to think a little bit about this curving idea. So making one, two, three, five out of one, two, three by adding these five minutes, just spread them a little bit and make sure that your stops become longer, the shallower uh, your stops become. So the closer you go to the surface, the longer you stay, which is also um, reasonable regarding your gas consumption because it wouldn't make any sense to do like uh, five minutes at 12 and then one, two, three. First of all, it's not a curve anymore. It's a very, very strange way to ascend. And obviously you need more gas spending five minutes at 12 meters than spending five minutes on three meters. 
And if you're a recreational diver and you're diving a single tank and you're at the end of the dive, even if you do conservative planning, you're a little bit nervous about this new situation. This might be an issue and you don't want to run into an additional issue. All right, I hope this helps. Uh, that was a really short one. Uh, if you have questions, comments, please put them in the comment section. Other than that, stay safe and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye. Thank you.